Such arrogance led him to irrational superstition. He believed in the superiority of the Aryan race. His sole object was to separate the supposedly inferior races from the allegedly superior Aryan race. And in the light of this perverted aim, he had no hesitation over ruthlessly slaughtering those he regarded as inferior races. Nourished by pride, Hitler's feelings of hatred led to the deaths of millions all over the world and to the crippling of many more. The communist dictator Stalin was another example of arrogance. All those close to Stalin would line up to make speeches describing what a genius he supposedly was. Because survival around Stalin meant telling lies and praising him to the heavens. Stalin eliminated many talented individuals from within the state, fearing that they would become his rivals. Stalin would be applauded for minutes at a time at Communist Party meetings. The reason for this was that everyone there was afraid to draw attention to themselves by being the first to stop clapping. Because Stalin had killed a number of delegates who had failed to display the requisite level of enthusiasm. In a similar way in Italy, Mussolini portrayed himself as a superior individual with special abilities, specially chosen, and with a special task to perform. Mussolini's official propaganda service told the press when which photograph was to be published, on which page, in which order, and in what size. Mussolini was always described in these publications as someone who always took the best course of action. Newspapers were adorned with pictures of Mussolini flying planes, swimming, or skiing in the Alps. As a result of this image of perfection ascribed to Mussolini, even his old friends stood to attention when they saw him. Mussolini was thus able to satisfy his egotism at the highest levels. Rather than permitting his old friends to sit down in his presence, he would keep them standing for hours. The proud have existed at all times and have shown themselves on the stage of history. However, these people's reward for their failure to reflect on God and the Day of Judgment will be endless suffering in the hereafter. Their situation is revealed thus in the Quran. That is because you exalted on the earth, without any right to do so, and strutted about. Enter the gates of hell, remaining in it timelessly forever. How evil is the abode of the arrogant!
Throughout this film, we have seen the material and spiritual harm done by pride in arrogant people down the ages and the painful ends that befell them. The basic traits of the proud are forgetfulness of the fact that they are created and mortal beings and the failure to realize their helplessness and poverty in the face of God. These people who, in their pride, rose up against God and turned their backs on the Quran will be punished for their behavior in both this world and the next. This behavior is of no benefit to them in this world and leads them to eternal damnation. In the Quran it is revealed that when our signs are recited to such a person he turns away arrogantly as if he had not heard, as if there was a great weight in his ears. So give him news of a painful punishment. With believers, however, things are very different. They are respectful and submissive towards God and modest in the presence of other believers. They are aware of their own unimportance and helplessness in the face of his infinite might. At the same time, they refuse to use their beauty, wealth, or intelligence as measures of superiority over other people. They know that all these are blessings from God and give thanks to him who bestows success, beauty, and blessings on them with a determined destiny. They do not consider success or failure beauty or ugliness as their own, knowing that all these are phenomena created to test them in the life of this world. They live in the peace and ease that their belief bestows. The great Islamic scholar Bedu Zaman Said Nursi briefly summarizes the difference between the lives of arrogant and modest people. One who fancies himself is visited with calamities and meets with difficulties whereas one who is not fond of himself finds happiness and goes to mercy. Prophet Joseph's conduct sets the best example of a believer's balanced disposition despite the conditions. God gave Joseph status, prosperity, and knowledge, but, aware that these were all given to him by God's will, he turned solely to our Lord. The modesty of Prophet Joseph, an example to all Muslims, and his submission to God are revealed as follows in the Quran. My Lord, you have granted power to me on earth and taught me the true meaning of events. Originator of the heavens and earth, you are my friend in this world and the next. So take me as a Muslim at my death and join me to the people who are righteous. The recompense awaiting modest believers who turn away from pride in the life of this world is a glad tiding from God to the faithful. that abode of the hereafter. We grant it to those who do not seek to exalt themselves in the earth or to cause corruption in it. The successful outcome is for those who do their duty.